Now, as part of economic reforms, the federal government recently proposed a one-time win for levy aim at uh, addressing the substantial gains made by Nigerian banks due to changes in foreign exchange. President Tinubu last week ex explained that the windfall tax will be used to finance infrastructure uh, projects, education and healthcare, among other uh, projects. He ha we have in the uh, studio financial analyst Farouk uh, Abdullahi to talk more about the proposed tax on banks' uh, windfall profits. You're welcome to Business Express. Thank you. Well, first of all, windfall. If we've heard that uh, other clients have actually adopted uh, uh, the uh, tax scheme to somehow uh, uh, spend more on the public and things like that. So what do you make of this particular move by the federal government? Uh, thank you. You see, uh, the move is necessitated by the current economic situation in Nigeria. If you look at our inability to finance our budget, a budget a deficit of over 9 trillion naira, you know, coupled with uh, the major challenges in borrowing we have, then you would uh, realize that the government have to go around to scheme out other strategies to ensure that they generate money, which made them to look at the, the current windfall tax as an important area. You know, it would help the country in a significant way by fueling infrastructural development. It would help also in other welfare project, welfare development projects. And perhaps it would help in education, in agriculture, and in various sectors of the economy. This, I believe, would fuel growth, you know, because we cannot continue to borrow. If you look at our GDP, to debt ratio is over 50%, well over and above the 40% uh, benchmark for the country. So I think uh, part of the reasons also that made the government look at that direction is the uh, significant or rather the ridiculous profit that is being uh, uh, recorded by this uh, commercial banks, by the bank financial institution, which is uh, due to the policy direction by the government right from the announcement of the unification of the exchange rate we have seen uh, a devaluation of our currency by over a hundred percent in the year within seven months in the year 2023 so that actually uh, uh, is part or is the major reason that necessitated that okay. out of that mm -hmm. transaction alone uh, the financial institution you know the banking uh, industry have generated profit that is in trillions of naira, you know, which uh, it is believed that it is not fair and it is at the detriment of other uh, producing and manufacturing companies, you know, that. So it is fair if it should go to the public? It is quite fair if it but, would but, go but, to but, the but public. But again, there's this, uh, the initial proposition was that of uh, just 50% of that amount. And now it has been jacked up by the National Assembly to 70%. Uh, don't you think that will they discourage banks and other businesses and, you know, well, looking at the uh, operating envi uh, environment at this point in time? Well, any uh, policy decision, you know, that the government takes comes with challenges, you know, but what matters is to uh, weigh out, to strike a balance between uh, which uh, outweighs which? Is it the benefit or the challenges? You know, mm -hmm. so that would inform the decision on whether it is uh, strategically important or necessary to go for such kind of policies or not. So, uh, owing to the fact that you see the core activities of the banking institution is not affected on this tax per se, you know, because uh, the lending and borrowing activities is not going to incur any windfall tax you know uh, out of if you see the exorbitant or let's say the significant the outrageous uh, profit recorded by this bank you would want to think that you may agree with me that it is the, it is at the detriment you know of other sector other important sector of the economy so i think uh, the 70 percent i th i want to believe that that is uh, influenced by certain uh, important uh, reasons, you know, to do that. And perhaps uh, 
part of the challenge is I think we have seen that the stock prices is going down. It's good to also have a balance and see what is the, uh, what is the consequences that the economy will, uh, will bear should in case this policy is being activated. Okay, this money is, uh, have been somehow allocated to uh, 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 infrastructure, uh, education and health. Uh, I don't know about others, but you think uh, this particular uh, area is uh, uh, very much important to really uh, put that money out. I know it's important, but uh, should it not go to other sectors as well, considering the fact that it has been jacked up to 70%? Well, I think welfare programs uh, is also part of it because uh, we're aware of the current economic hardship, you know, and these areas that this money is going uh, areas that are necessary to drive the economy. You know, without education, you know, the government, the, the nation cannot grow above uh, the required limit. Without health, how can we live? You know, so, with, so all these areas that it is going, I think it's, it's, it's necessary because this is a profit that is made out of uh, government policy, you know, and it goes way at the detriment of the economy. We have seen it has affected the inflation figures in the country because of this policy. While a particular sector, a particular uh, business aspect of a sector is benefiting outrageously. So I think the whole idea is about ensuring the fiscal sanity of the country. So uh, it, is, it, is, it is really uh, strategically necessary that we embrace and accept it in spite of the growing uh, uh, concerns about it in terms of whether it would pose systemic risk on the bank or not. And I f really think that this can't pose systemic risks. If you look at other countries then, also... Then, then another thing is, what is the possibility of passing this uh, to the customers now? Because we've seen, in, you know, uh, company tax where uh, a large chunk is taken from these companies at the end of the day, uh, the what? Uh, these tax would now be passed on to the customers to somehow uh, address that as a part of uh, banks' uh, uh, method of making profits. Well, I, as I told you earlier, this tax... Are we likely to see that in this situation oh, whereby the customer, well, okay, oh, the customer bear the brunt after everything? No, I don't think so. Because when uh, the impact of this uh, policy that led uh, to the outrageous profit recorded by banks is due to the revaluation of uh, their holdings in foreign exchange currency and perhaps their forex transactions in the sale of their uh, bonds and stocks and other financial instruments. So per per perhaps this have uh, skyrocketed their, 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 their profit. It has magnified their profit beyond limits which is not really part of the core activities of the bank, which is uh, deposit and lending money. So I don't think lend borrowing and uh, deposit will be affected uh, by this policy. Okay. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Farouk Abdullah. It's a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you. It's my pleasure.